link today. Uh, you have all the information about uh, the startup, their plans, their financials, and so on. And uh, uh, you have uh, enough ground to uh, to ask question about questions about Sig3. Uh, but I, I will start with uh, a very short introduction just to ask Vlad uh, before pitching. Uh, how did you start with Sigtree? Uh, how the, uh, the, uh, the idea came? Well, um, thank you, Andre. Thank you for the introduction. As you said, the campaign is live and we are already seeing some interest uh, uh, and some traffic on the on our website and also both on the presentation clips. Now, let me give you a bit of background uh, behind the startup and behind the product. So everything started in uh, 2018. Before of that, we worked for uh, all the founders. We worked for a very large corporation. Um, and our idea in 2018 was to build something a bit different. I mean, we started building an internet of things, an IoT platform that would integrate multiple technologies under uh, the same, uh, umbrella. We started discussing with potential prospects, companies that would uh, be interested in our product. Uh, progressing later on in 2019, we decided to remain on the real estate vertical and we consider the real estate developers as our customers. And we introduced the concept of community management powered by an IoT uh, platform. Basically, you had devices that were monitoring buildings or uh, apartments, and the devices were sending requests uh, to validate the uh, supplier. Uh, we had some progress, and we generated quite a lot of interest. Uh, well, not the expected uh, demand, but quite a lot of interest with that product. Uh, fast forward, uh, 2020, uh, the pandemic came. And we started seeing the effects uh, early on. Actually, in January, we were already noticing some problems in the supply chains for devices, for smart devices from China. And uh, then we decided that uh, our product should sell much easier and faster. And uh, the selling process should be 100% digital. Because before of that, uh, there was that small component of doing uh, smart home or smart building uh, installation. Now we have reached the product that I'm presenting today, which is a tenant engagement uh, platform uh, addressed as well to the real estate developers, uh, which we consider our uh, customers. Let me also share, uh, share a small presentation. Yeah, it's a good moment to start uh, uh, pitching with, uh, with the presentation. And I'm uh, yes. very happy that uh, we already got the first question uh, and I'm encouraging you to I, I forgot to mention that to, to put your questions whenever you have them for both of the companies in the Q&A module uh, on the right side uh, uh, on the bottom and I will pick them from there as a moderator so mm -hmm. uh, don't uh, don't uh, uh, whenever you have it you don't have to expect the Q&A session you, you can put already the questions there thank you uh, so okay so are. we take the question the floor now, is yours. No, 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 already... you're, you're in the Q&A okay. session, but uh, just encouraging the audience to, 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 go, to put the questions in the Q&A. We also got one in, uh, in the chat, but uh, we prefer to put it in the Q&A. Okay, Anyhow, perfect. we'll take all the questions, we promise that. Okay, so coming back to the tenant engagement platform, what I was mentioning is that we had a lot of discussion with uh, our potential customers, the real estate developers, and... Uh, from the feedback we got with, uh, from them, uh, we noticed there is this gap in communication with their customer base, with their uh, leads or customer personas uh, from the moment the project starts and until the delivery, delivery is done. And uh, actually this is uh, our identified uh, problem that uh, during this delivery phase, the engagement and the communication between the real estate developer and the end user, the tenant, uh, be it in residential and be it in office, uh, it's, quite, it's usually quite, uh, quite low. Uh, tenants do not have the opportunity to send in a structured way uh, communication and ask questions for the real estate developers. Developers do not have a proper channel to post information, to post updates, to request from uh, feedback uh, from their uh, potential customer base. 
uh, from time to time they do use uh, WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, but uh, inevitably this ends up in an argument and uh, the communication is really poorly structured and actually none of the parts uh, gain uh, their benefit. So we decided to deliver this branded platform towards the real estate developers and also to build it as a multi-project and multi-site uh, concept. Uh, we, as I said, we target the real estate developers, but also the property managers because they are a key player in this uh, value chain. Basically, the real estate developer will configure all their projects, all their sites under the same uh, uh, platform. And once the setup is done, they could onboard their user and uh, start uh, sending newsletters, start uh, sending questionnaires to their uh, end users. And also the end users have the possibility to raise uh, uh, issues or complaints. Uh, now I'm coming to also to a very important, to another important player in our platform, which are the service providers. Uh, because we do onboard validated service providers. In general, the real estate developers already have, and also the property managers already have very good contacts with the service providers. But until now, they didn't have uh, the proper channel to expose those, their services towards the, the tenant's uh, base. Uh, now, I've already mentioned some of our uh, differentiators in my pitch so far. Uh, the fact that we are able to target the customers uh, really early and we start this engagement really early, and this translates in improved opportunity costs for the real estate developer, increased satisfaction for the user base because they are well informed and they are also getting a lot of support with all their complaints or all of their needs. Uh, we can configure under our platform both residential and office projects. By the way, this is fully aligned with the global prop tech trend because most of the real estate developers are now building mixed projects of both residential and office. Uh, some of the times they have other amenities, they have restaurants, they have uh, stores, and they are building in general larger uh, compounds. Uh, in addition, we have also our own IoT platform, which still is a very valuable component because it will give us two things. First of all, we will be able to touch on the European sustainability targets of uh, monitoring, for example, uh, a project uh, construction sites with various uh, sensors. And uh, all this data will also allow us to analyze in a proper way and understand in a proper way how the suppliers, tenants, property managers, and community managers are interacting with, uh, with our platform. Uh, now some look and feel about, uh, about the platform and what I was uh, talking about. Very important is that every customer, every real estate developer is receiving a branded implementation. And this is also another differentiator because we have uh, been able, we, we are able to, uh, and we have completely automated the deployment process of this branded uh, installation. This gives us uh, one very important thing. We are able to treat projects individually because there are no two identical uh, projects. And we empower the community managers, for example, to uh, post and to interact with their community really, really targeted on their needs and on the right moment of uh, the project uh, evolution. Because as I said, as we start really early, the project will progress and the needs of the tenants will change in time. Well, we have uh, managed to solve this and we give to the community managers the possibility to post in an internal marketplace. Uh, we call them articles and they will contain uh, discounted offers like supporting the tenants in setting up their apartments or supporting companies in setting up their uh, office spaces and um, also questionnaires, video clips, presentations, and a lot of other important information. Another uh, very useful, another used feature is the newsletter functionality. It's really graphical. Everything is done uh, quite intuitively and uh, the, our customers, the developers are saving a lot of hours uh, through these uh, newsletters because they are saved as templates and uh, they send them quite regularly and they usually save one to two hours uh, every day. 
Um, this is, uh, for example, uh, the main view of the application. The other uh, functionalities, there are tickets raising. Uh, we give the tenants the possibility to raise tickets. Uh, they go into real time uh, towards the validated suppliers. And after that, the communication happens 100% between the supplier uh, and the tenant. Everything in real uh, time. And it's backed by uh, photos, videos, files. Uh, and we also have an embedded uh, uh, video uh, functionality. Um, after the project goes live, the marketplace will shift a bit more towards services and the tenants will be able to access again validated services from the service providers. Uh, they will be able to book some services, they will uh, be able to rate the services that they are receiving. Uh, again, they will have the possibility to discuss with the tenants, uh, with the suppliers in uh, real time. Um, how everything works. We provide a white label platform to the real estate developer or the property manager. There is a community manager that is allocated to the project. Um, the community manager or the developer uh, does all the configuration, which includes multiple projects, multiple buildings. Every Again, not all the buildings are ready in the same uh, time frame. Uh, and then the community manager starts the engagement with uh, their profile uh, tenants, with their customer base. Tenants can report problem and access services as uh, discount, as discussed, and they also get access to all sorts of uh, relevant information. Uh, usually this is how we charge, this is how we make uh, money. There is a flat fee per apartment unit. Uh, there will be obviously an adjustment between uh, the Romanian market and our targets to expand on the international uh, markets. Uh, we charge a small commission from the marketplace uh, transactions. In general, the offers posted in the marketplace are uh, offered with consistent discounts because the suppliers get a new sales channel directly to the consumer and uh, they are quite happy to offer uh, big discounts uh, to access this uh, new customer base. And for the office uh, space management, there is a price, a monthly price uh, per building. Uh, our uh, plans- not, Just to be aware that uh, maximum two minutes because already we got, you got a lot of questions in the Q&A. Okay, I don't, I don't have, I mean, just to talk a bit about uh, mm -hmm. the future plans. Yes. They are sure. quite focused on uh, uh, going international and launching the product on other larger uh, markets. This would be one of the first things after we finalize the investment. Uh, we will run a very targeted sales campaign due to the branding capabilities of our product. This will give us the opportunity to launch an email campaign where we will include some video clips with uh, information already uh, taken online from the um, uh, customer's website. And uh, basically this will generate also a very high click-through rate simply due to curio curiosity. And after this, the process, uh, we, it's already validated. Uh, it goes, goes quite uh, smoothly. We plan to join the Global Real Estate Club all the big real estate developers from the world are there. They have opened uh, their doors, let's say like this, to new startups, and uh, they do not have a startup on uh, our profile. And I think this will be very lucrative for us. Um, obviously, business development is really important for us. And uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, the biggest part of the investment will be towards business development, growth, sales. Obviously, the product will be improved, but we do not plan to use the money to, let's say, uh, build the product and uh, generate a go-to-market uh, channel. The market is quite large uh, and also it gives us opportunity to tap uh, on even larger markets. These private and individualized marketplaces delivered directly to consumer uh, are a trend that um, will continue to grow, is a trend that will continue to grow, especially after the, this pandemic. Uh, we identified about 5,000 ideal customers in the European Union alone, but there are also some very good markets for us, like uh, Canada, the United Emirates, uh, Turkey, 
they are really good markets for us. Uh, and we consider a good market uh, a place where we are able to target more than uh, 30% um, from the total uh, new units, office and residential delivered in a year. Just to put things into context, in Romania, we are at about 10%. So we can target only about 10%. In a country like Poland, we will be able to target about 40%. Um, these are the main uh, competitors. Well, Plentific have just announced a month ago a new funding round of 100 million. Uh, they are quite big. They are really focused on the UK, on UK and uh, Germany, and they are mainly focused on the uh, apartments that are already live. So our biggest differentiators compared to them is that we will start much earlier and we consider our customers uh, directly the real estate uh, developers. And this is already a validated uh, model. Spaceflow.io is the only competitor that is present on, uh, also on the European market. They have recently started looking also on the residential part, uh, but we have a very strong value proposition compared to there uh, in the fact that, again, we give a very targeted uh, platform and we are able to collect a lot of data and to generate customer profiles way better than they will be ever be able to do. Um, and this was the presentation. Thank you for listening and I will be happy to answer uh, all the questions. So shoot. Okay, oh, uh, thank you, Vlad. I will shoot, uh, actually I'll take the questions from the Q&A. Uh, in a certain order, we have uh, quite a few already. Uh, <clears throat> just uh well just to describe <clears throat> typical service during development construction and regular maintenance property ma management phase uh, if you can provide specific examples of devices iot and processes uh, I, iot that uh, are used both in the construction phase and then in the life phase well in general the the most uh, uh, the most used uh, devices in a live uh, home are devices that control the heating, devices that control the electrical uh, appliances and electrical circuits and uh, also access control devices. In an office, they have BMS systems and they also have uh, access control devices. So the use cases are slightly different. If we are going, uh, like for example, with booking a certain space in an office building, then we will need to access uh, the access. Uh, we will need to control the access control uh, devices uh, in that building. So, in general, these are devices that are uh, giving us IoT control. Uh, now, uh, regarding the sustainability targets, uh, there are devices that are monitoring the vibration level. They are monitoring the air quality. They are monitoring temperature. So, in general, they are mon uh, monitoring devices and we are able to collect that data and to transform it into valuable uh, uh, information. So uh, this was the question about IoT, but I think the question has had two parts because it was linked to property management. Am I mistaken? Uh, if you can describe a typical service during development, uh, the construction phase and the regular maintenance, proper, property management phase. Okay. The two the phases. The regular maintenance comes after the tenants have already received uh, uh, the apartment. And the regular maintenance, uh, also they are re related to cleaning, they are related to, for example, uh, doing maintenance on a smart home system, if it's present, doing maintenance on the heating system. Uh, this is a regular maintenance. The type of services that customers are accessing while the apartment is in delivery phase, are uh, generally supporting the setup of the apartment. Like for example, buying a smart system with a discount, buying uh, electrical appliances, why not buying furniture? So it depends a lot on the real estate developer, what they are uh, willing to propose to their customer base and to consider as a differentiator. Take into consideration that you have real estate developers that are giving uh, big discounted packages on uh, kitchens, on furniture. So it's up to the real estate developer. We empower the community manager to answer the exact needs of their uh, customer mm -hmm. base. Okay. Uh, and the first question that we got actually was, what are the real estate capabilities in your company? 
uh, your, your experience. Not, okay, we do not have previous experience into real estate. Uh, starting 2019, we had a lot of discussions with uh, our customers and we were able to incorporate all their feedback into our product. And also our product is quite flexible in, uh, in this uh, sense. Uh, we have a lot of experience into managing very complex IT projects because previously we've built, a, for example, a very large department of more than 100 professionals. Uh, we had customers uh, across all continents uh, and we had generic experience in all sorts of IT systems. We do not have in our uh, team uh, real estate experts, but we do have business development contracts and really good partnerships. Uh, moreover, in this funding round, we have managed to get also these uh, experts. They came; uh, they will come as angel investors, and they will also help us tremendously in launching the product in the international market. Uh, this is all. This is already in the making. Uh, we already got this question on a, from a different. Uh channel if you can uh, disclose or, or at least describe the business angels that are part of the round you mentioned now that uh, they have uh, they are developers or in this kind of industry yes they are in this industry for many many years uh well it was their express request not to disclose it now but it's not a secret i mean the information will be available until or immediately after the campaign uh, finishes I don't know if this influences the investment decision uh, or not, but uh, it was their express uh, request that for the moment for them to remain anonymous. The investors will, will see the other colleagues uh, exactly. they have in, in the company, but exactly. uh, you, you at least can mention that uh, they have this uh, real estate development experience. With global, with a global perspective, so real estate uh, experience on uh, not only on the Romanian market. Okay, um, uh, we we have uh, less than ten minutes left left for for uh, three, So just to to try to get all the questions as we promised. Uh, a question that is mentioning that I live in a compound with forty eight blocks, hundreds of apartments. There is a lot of engagement and communication in the neighbor neighbor's community indeed. However, how do you plan to replace the classical Facebook groups cost-free, especially that many developers after they sell the project, they are moving forward? Uh, yes, well, we do consider this possibility that we will uh, lose some of the projects when the developer is uh, moving forward. I want to come back to the idea that the real estate developer is uh, our customer and we usually uh, they use our platform well it's not matured uh, in this period of time but we estimate they will use the platform on a project between two and three years the idea is that the developer will take the lessons learned and he will move towards a new project I mean for them Actually, this is their business, and this is why we improve a lot their opportunity cost. This does not mean that we will not sign contracts directly with the associations of uh, owners. I uh, don't even know how it's called exactly uh, in, in English, because we do have uh, such contracts uh, already. In regards to the Facebook groups and the WhatsApp groups, the feedback so far, was that inevitably the discussion on the Facebook and WhatsApp uh, turns into a fight. Uh, and uh, there are also at, a lot at of- At least in Romania. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a, every, every, everywhere is the same. I mean, we discuss, for example, with uh, real estate because we are in good relationships with Department of International Trade in the UK and we were already in contact with some of the real estate market. So it's the there. same habit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same habit. There are also a lot of functionalities that, for example, a WhatsApp group or a Facebook group cannot offer, like uh, managing uh, suppliers, managing uh, payments, being uh, having the possibility to give a rating uh, to one of uh, the suppliers. And we are also considering a lot of functionalities very targeted on certain compounds, like giving the possibility to the tenants to post by themselves 
uh, articles in the marketplace. Like, for example, if your kids have grown and you don't need a bicycle, why not give it to one of your, uh, one of your neighbors? But again, this is, uh, this is not our uh, main business focus. We do bring a lot of value. We structure the information quite well and also the communication quite well. But it also depends a lot on the, com on the person that is doing community management. Okay, uh, three more questions and uh, uh, we, we have uh, quite a few minutes. Uh, what is different from other software tools that allow communication between future tenants and the real estate developers and uh, uh, PM? PM meaning? Uh, property manager. Pro pro property manager. In other words, how is the competition situation, comparative, uh, competitive advantages, comparative? Uh, I assume they don't have devices. Uh, I think you answered to a part of the question already in the pitch. The devices is only one part of, of it. The, the, one of the biggest differentiator is this private installation that we have managed to, com to automate completely. Because make no mistakes, on the long run, this is a data play. And the data will also dictate the evolution of uh, this project. And the way we are positioned, giving a branded implementation, having multiple projects under the same platform, and also being able to have residential office uh, and other spaces under the same platform and manage it as a whole, and being able to evaluate this data uh, individually uh, gives us a really strong uh, competitive advantages. The devices part is only one of the components, and actually, it improves this uh, data analysis. Uh, part. Okay, and uh, if you can uh, mention what are what is the current annualized income from uh, already signed contracts? Uh, so uh, 6300 so 6300 euros in the month uh, in August, uh, 7100 now uh, in September because we issued the invoices at the beginning of uh, each month. So the average growth is around 15% since the beginning of the year. We plan with this investment, obviously, to accelerate uh, the growth. So we have quite big plans. And uh, actually, September, is, uh, September and October is a really good month uh, to do business. And this is why we target this launch into Poland to happen now, uh, now in uh, September, right after we are able to raise uh, the investment. Can, can you disclose uh, some name of, names of the, con the contracts that you signed, uh, developers and so on? Yes. I think, uh, yes. I think this, yeah, they are disclosed in the, in the files that we published. They are the... disclosed in the files. They are disclosed also on our LinkedIn page. Uh, CBRE is the, our biggest customers, and CBRE is also the biggest real estate company in the world. Uh, Yes, they are not a real estate developer, that, but they are working with all the real estate uh, developers. So basically, they have taken through our product one step up, and they are having incorporated other real estate projects in the application. From the real estate developers, we can uh, mention Speedwell, we can mention Cordia, uh, we can mention Forte Partners. Uh, yeah, and there are, uh, there are others. We work also with other property managers like MVGM. It's an international company. They have, uh, they have operation across uh, Europe. Um, we work also with the Ekin, Pushman and Wakefield, uh, which in Romania it's called Equinox. Okay. Thank you. I think uh, we have time just for one more question. Uh, actually, we have also two propositions. Uh, one is par about parking spots sharing uh, also works very good. They could be really valuable. Could be an idea if you already considered, I don't know. We have this, um, yes, there, there are a lot of discussion and this is, the pro this is a problem that has not been solved yet in, in okay. the market. Uh, but it's a mix between devices, the cost of devices, or do it purely software. If okay. we are to considering only software booking, this is a functionality that we can offer. I mean, the possibility to book a space, uh, but otherwise we need to discuss it uh, one by one okay. because not all are the same. Um, the last question is, are you looking 
to also address the platform to cater for private owners and their maintenance needs. In, in other words, replacing the traditional administrator and president of the buildings, making sure that the administration and monthly bill links are handed via your solution. Uh, so we already link private owners directly with the suppliers. I mean, this link is already happening. Replacing completely the administration, uh, though doable, uh, yeah, there are there are some things like I mean, calculating the monthly payments uh, and things like this. So we didn't had enough uh, demand, and we take our customer feedback uh, really seriously. But mm -hmm. if the demand will be there, we are yeah a step closer. Okay, but matching suppliers with the tenants' needs directly. This is something that we already do. Great. Uh, and the last uh, uh, question, actually, uh, proposal, uh, if, they, if the potential investor can access the demo account, uh, if it could be granted on demand, and what is the process to get it? Uh, write to me on mail, LinkedIn, write to me. Give me, actually, give me a sign and we can do that. Uh, we can uh, announce here that uh, it will be a follow-up message to uh, also with the recording of the webinar. We will uh, will announce there also the uh, email addresses of the founders. But uh, in the case of Sigtree, you already have the Q and A session, the forum.